Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Be acting as your boy Daddy Easy here, yeah, iPod Jumping Hacker, otherwise known as only using the Tomahawks. Some of y'all may know me as Easy, like I always say to the black, to the blue, my avatar on my YouTube channel. Yeah, buddy. So, there were some questions that a lot of y'all asked me after I posted this on Facebook and I posted this on Twitter. Um, also, to my Facebook group and the group that I'm part of. A lot of guys can ask me, how the hell. Was I able to get the Hue Plus from NZXT in this case and be able to actually hide the cords? So, as you can see at the bottom right here, they thought that this little drive that was right here on the side was the Hue Plus. It's actually not the Hue Plus. That's actually an external hard drive that I keep inside of it um, for my backup. So, let's say if I want to remove my external hard drive and bring it to my iMac so I can basically transfer files that's why I normally have that in there but I'm going to show you basically what I did to actually do what I did so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove my house phone out the way Okay. and I'm going to just go about removing the screws and stuff off my tempered glass and I'm going to go into details to show you exactly what I did um, there was a lot of modifications I had to do towards this so when I actually started building this PC and um, removing a lot of stuff it took me some time to actually do it now the thing is my motherboard only has two USB hubs inside of it so basically what I had to do is find out a way to get a USB cord inside the case to go through the back of my IO um, and be able to use the USB on the back where my um all my USB cords and stuff is at to be able to do everything. So let's just move this glass out the way real quick. There we go. So as you can see, you can see inside of there right now. Okay. So as you can see inside, you can see right there is my Hue Plus. Basically what I did was I took some zip ties and I ran it through the case, put a couple of zip ties together, and was able to, you know, be able to hold it and hold that in place. So my Hue Plus is not going anywhere, as you can see. I can move it, and nothing's gonna happen. Like I said, this is an external hard drive that I just placed right there. I just put that there. Um, right here at the bottom, I have a Bluetooth USB right here, as you can see right there. I have a Bluetooth. Um. RGB head on um, thing that basically I use an app to control everything inside of it. Um, if you see my program, you see that I have RGB lights on my gaming chair. If you see right here, I have an app right here that's called Magic Light. So if I hit that, and you're going to see what I'm able to do. I'm searching for it. So what I'm going to do is go to my second one because I have multiple RGBs already. As you can see. When I turn it, you see the front panel, which is right here. You'll see that change colors. So if I go into settings, then go into color mix, I can do that. I can do themes or whatever, or I can do a color flow. As you can see what's happening now, I can do breathing, color breathing. I can do colorful flicker. I can change the speed of it. Uh, single jump. Let's put it real fast. As you can see what's happening. Um, I could put double wave. Slow it down. Set up a theme. Disco. I can go back into this. Put on dance. So every time I talk. The RGB light should go off and on and stuff like that. As you can see what's happening. Only when I talk, you see that the RGB is just going off. And when the one thing I do like about this, if I'm playing a game, I can leave this like this. And you see the RGB is actually go off as I'm talking or playing a game or music and stuff like that. That's one thing that I do like about this thing. So that's just showing you one program right there. Um, you're going to see it continue and stuff like that yeah but I did a lot of things to hide a lot of cords in here as you can see I got my Kraken X41 right here um I'm gonna upgrade to the new one I have my GTX 1070 there my 
Elgato Game Capture HD uh, 60 Pro. As I told you, I have two of them. As you can see right there, that's my HD 60 Pro. Here's my second Elgato HD 60 Pro right here. Um, yeah, and that's basically all I did. A lot of you guys was asking how I set everything up. Um, I ran the cords up through here and got that Hue Plus going through the back of my case, which I brought it through the shroud down at the bottom and ran it over here with the extensions on there. And I got this basically um, sitting down. I need to put some zip ties on there just to, you know, keep it locked down. But I'm going to be doing some modifications. So right now I got it loose because I'm going to be adding some more things to it because I want to get some RGBs in the back of the um, case. So I need to be able to have one of those ports open for it. But guys, this is it. Uh, this is how I actually did it. So, I will catch you guys in my next video. Remember, live it, love it, game it. Peace and deuces, and I'll catch you guys later. Holla.